Welcome to your weekly US news update. We have three stories for you this week. The Air Sentinel app, the new scheduled drone, and then DJI has an event next week. Let's get to it. All right, before we get started, you might be wondering why we have drone news updates in the scenic version uh, on the lake view. Uh, the reason is because I contracted something that's uh, highly contagious and uh, we can't really be all in one room indoors. So we're gonna be doing this outdoors this week. Uh, I'm doing okay. Physically, stuff my head is a little congested, but otherwise doing pretty good. Now, first up this week is the Air Sentinel app who has partnered with uh, drone responders to provide remote ID information to public safety. Now, if you're not familiar, the Air Sentinel app, it's an app that allows you to pick up the remote ID broadcast information, but it's been excluding the location of the pilot because, well, the people that make the Air Sentinel app believe that the location of the pilot should not be shared with the public. Uh, only authorized people can access the pilot information via logging into the app and they must prove that they are public safety before they are granted access to the pilot location. So the Air Sentinel app is free to download on Android and at this time it's the one that we actually recommend uh, based on our testing that we did for Remote ID. Uh, you can take a look at the video uh, somewhere up here. Uh, next up this week is the new Skydio X10. Uh, the X10 is Skydio's newest enterprise drone. It has a FLIR Bosom plus 640 by 512 radiometric, uh, one inch 50 megapixel wide camera, uh, and then a 64 megapixel zoom camera. The X10 will also have other payload available uh, like the uh, V100L coming soon. Uh, that V100L has uh, the same wide end zoom camera available, but it's got a flashlight instead of having a thermal camera. Uh, the X10 has a 40 minute maximum flight time, uh, four different payload bays, 5G optional connectivity, and then a 7.5 mile range. Uh, pretty interesting to see those changes. Definitely a competitor with the uh, M30 from uh, DJI and then also the Max from Autel. Uh, I certainly hope that now that Skydio has a competing drone with these platforms, that they're going to stop uh, sending money to people to lobby so that they can get other brands rejected and, and not uh, be uh, able to have public safety by DJI, for example, or Autel, so they can uh, sell their drones. Now, hopefully they can stop doing all that and basically have their drone compete based on quality and based on pricing, right? So and we can't wait to get our hands on one of those to test it. And finally, DJI has announced a, an event that's going to be this Monday. Uh, we assume that it's going to be the release of the Mini 4 Pro. Uh, that's what a lot of people have been uh, talking about online. Now, the event is called Mini to the Max. Uh, maybe they're doing a competitor to the Max uh, from Autel. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, but that's going to be released at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So uh, based on the picture, uh, the Mini 4 has somewhat of a redesigned obstacle avoidance system, a downward facing LED and an adjusted front legs. Uh, this is everything that has been leaked so far online. Now we'll see when the new drone comes out and uh, we'll tell you if we hear more leaks about all of that. Okay, before we go, we'll be at the Colorado Drone Show in Fort Collins, Colorado in two weeks. Uh, the event is free, so make sure that you attend. Uh, we'll be doing first flights for people. Uh, and then, uh, so if you've never flown a drone before, there's also a lot of presentation. There's a ton of different vendors. So make sure you come and see us. Uh, we'll have giveaways. Uh, we'll have the airplane there, hopefully if the weather uh, permits. And then, and uh, yeah, just a lot of cool goodies. Uh, come talk to the team and uh, that's it. You have a great weekend and we'll see you next week, hopefully back in the studio. Now you may not be familiar, but it... let me see what happened here.